Petrov's lost his shit. Following an analysis of Petrov in light of his recent quarrel with Larissa Filatova, I have drawn the same conclusion. You analyzed him? It's a common scenario. He loved her. Their perspectives on life grew apart. She ended the relationship. He lost his mind. Huh. Makes sense, I guess. What kinds of shows do they put on here? Primarily ballet. A performance entitled Heart of the Robot, A Peaceful Atom, has been particularly popular recently. A celebratory performance is planned here in honor of the launch of Collective 2.0. Space-based programs honoring the first Soviet citizen in space will come later. We'll see. This place is pretty messed up right now. Stand down for now. Hush. Access granted. Not to crack. Oh, I can't even soften you up. Sechnov says, sick him. And you can't disobey. That's fine. Solve my puzzle piece, please. I'll try to reach you one last time. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a Use command. Use the right uh, side of your brain. This stuff. Pictures you want to give it a little Charles? And you'll see where Sechnov's real plan is going to take us. Quasse in the You'll fifth find position, campus. arms in the right third here. position. Done already? Oh, Let's my, your try a different one. This isn't new to you, though, is it? Attitude? Do you want to see the same scenes repeated all around us? Or would you rather Let's choose a try a different one? Carefree bird song and all the comforts of Passe. Unless you want to hear the heavy footfalls of Let's the robot army try a different one. against mankind, stand down. First arabesque. Okay, that's enough. Help me! I'm stuck! Stuck in a dead body, please! I don't want this! I'm in a dead body! I, I, I can feel it beginning to decompose! Enough! Turn it off! I don't want this! Enter a command. Yeah. Charles, do me a favor and give the lady a command. Me. Uh, I don't know what she wants. To talk to me. Releve in the fifth position. If I say 
arms upright and loose in an alongue. That's enough of that. What the hell was that? Charles? I don't know what you mean, Comrade Major. The chirper you found? Debug is... mode initiated. Please enter a command. Your move, Charles. I'm kind of out of my depth here. Batemont tendu, arms free. Enough for now. Push my button to talk to me. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. This is your time to shine, Charles. You're a smart-ass machine, right? Well, we got some smart-ass commands for you to figure out. A la seconde, arms free. Crimson. Now comes the dark. Sechnov thinks he can control all of Collector, but he can't. No Debug mode can initiated. Power Please like enter this. a command. Your move, Charles. I'm kind of out of my depth here. Why do you assume that these robots kill? Or say in the fourth it? position. Because I'm evil incarnate and I programmed them that way? <sighs> Anything else worth checking out? Relevé in the fingers. Anything else worth checking out? Attitude. Enough for now. Sometimes you think you're gaining on your nemesis, and he'll be within your grasp soon enough. And then everything will be happiness, smiles, and rainbows. You have no idea how insidious your real enemy is. And not even Sechenov truly understands it. What you're all really going to end up with is emptiness, powerlessness, and a mushroom cloud. And the uncomfortable feeling that you've been had. Drug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Uh, I don't really get this stuff. No. First arabesque. Let's... Passe. Okay, that's enough. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. This is your time to shine. Ecarte with the right leg. We're done here. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. This is your time to shut up. First arabesque. Try again. Give her a command. Passe. We're done here. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. This is your time to shine, Charles. Ecarte with the right leg. We're done here. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Your move, Charles. I'm kind of out of my depth here. Relevé in the fingers. Anything else worth checking out? 
Bâtiment tendu, arms free. Enough for now. Debug mode initiated. Yeah, Charles, do me a favor. First arabesque. Try another one. Relevé on the toes. Passe in the fourth position. Big arm. Try another. Attitude. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a. Uh, I don't really get this stuff. Passe. Let's try it. First arabesque. Let's... If... Classe in the fifth position, arms in the third position. Okay, that's enough. Mode initiated. Please enter a command. Your move, Charles. I'm kind of out of my depth here. Relevé in the fingers. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. This is your time to shut your sh Ecarte with the right leg. Try again. Give it. A la seconde. Arms free. We're done here. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a... Yeah, Charles, do me a favor and give the lady a... First arabesque. Try another one. Mode initiated. Please it. Ah, uh, don't. Passe. Let's. Dip. Attitude. Okay, that's enough. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Your move, Charles. I'm kind of out of my depth. Quasse in the fourth position. Enough for now.
ballerina's training is proceeding magnificently. We just need to show them the proper ballet positions. It's a shame they aren't connected to the primary neural network. Just imagine what we could teach them. And most importantly, no polymer injections whatsoever. Truly fantastical women. Just say the name of position and that's it. And it doesn't have to be a ballet position either. Debug mode initiated. This is your time to shine, Shine. A la seconde, arms free. Try again. Ecarte with the right leg. Try again. First arabesque. Try again. Passe. Try again. Give her a command. Ecarte with the right leg. Debug mode initiated. Your move, Charles. Yeah. Batemont tendu, arms free. Enough for now. Debug mode initiated. Yeah, Charlie, yeah. First arabesque. Try another one. Releve on the toes. Crosse in the fourth position. Big arm. Try another one. Attitude. Try another one. Releve in the fifth position. Efface. Arms upright and loose in an allongé. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Uh, I don't really get this step. Croissé in the fifth position, arms in the third position. Let's dip. Attitude. Let's dip. Passe. Let's try a dip. First arabesque. Chat. 
dialogue mode initiated. Please. Uh, Okay, that's enough. How may I entertain you? Shall we have a chat? As a conversation partner? Don't give me the cold shoulder. Care for a chat? You've been without a woman for Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Yeah, Charles, do me a favor. First arabesque. Try another one. Releve on the toes. Crosse in the fourth position. Big arm. Try another one. Attitude? Try another one. Releve in the fifth position. If I say, arms upright and loose in an. Care for a chat? Debug mode initiated. Your move, Charles. Quasse in the fourth position. Anything else? Attitude? You can take me as a conversation partner. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. This is your time to press back. A la seconde. Arms free. Try again. Try again. Give her a... First arabesque. Try again. Passe. Try again. Give her a command. A la seconde. Arms free.
Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Uh, I don't really get this stuff. Class A in the fifth position? All up. Open your eyes and see the truth, dog. Why can't you see the obvious? Collective will be the death of us all. Sechnoff is nothing but a self-indulgent fool. <sighs> Fine. You win. The time has come. This was supposed to be a real show. Yeah, Charles, why is that head case whining about how Collective is gonna kill us all? I can't stop thinking about it. Could Collective really be dangerous? Of course not. Collective cannot be dangerous. That's all there is to it. Only its owner can be dangerous. Nobody's gonna own Collective. Dr. Sechenov is gonna launch it and everybody's gonna be equal. Brilliant scientists like him are above power struggles and other petty bullshit like that. Fading data. So, what will it be, Major?
You won't fool me again. You're mine now, shitbird. Hear that, fuckhead? Show's over! There you are. Always breathing down my neck. Where's the doctor? Larissa, she... she dumped me. Unbelievable. I don't know where she is. Maybe she's... But what about Molotov? He didn't believe such enough, did he? Molotov's dead. Then it all makes sense. What makes sense? Collective will activate, and that's the end of everything. What? What's wrong with people controlling robots with their minds? You're the one who created the goddamn system, you prick. I had no idea what Sechnoff was planning to do with it. Unlike you, he wasn't planning to kill anybody. <laughs> oh, really? You believe that? Then why did all those peaceful robots start hacking everyone? Because to you reprogrammed them, that's why. <laughs> Are you serious? How stupid can you get? Do you have any idea how long it takes to write a functional algorithm for a single robot? And there are dozens of models here. So what? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Combat mode was programmed into them during the initial design phase. And sure, no one ever thought it'd be activated here in the Soviet Union, and that was totally on me. But I can assure you that Sechnov's plans are far, far worse than this. And he has to be stopped! Bullshit! I'm sick of this crap. You're gonna tell me right now how to switch the robots out of combat mode. <laughs> Sorry. That's not gonna happen. Hell it will. <laughs> I've already put everything into motion. Stop! This was supposed to be I said a stop. special day for us. I was going to propose to her the day Collector was launched. It was going to happen right here in the theater. House of Bonnie. Watch out, your hands! Give this to Larissa. Dead this time. <laughs> Shit. P3 to Chilame. Come in, Chilame. Finally. Do you have Victor? Petrov killed himself in a creative way, and I couldn't stop him. Damn! Is his head intact? Yes. I'm looking at it right now. Keep the head safe, P3. I'll send you a special container. Put it inside, and the rest will be done automatically. Wrong. Wrong. Rob again. And self regret will be your and self will be your Thank <laughs> you. 
Just not talk for a while, okay? Sergey, did you search Petrov's body, my boy? Did you find any gold rings on him? No, sir. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Very well. Report to the Pavlov complex at once. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. This is our first session. I'm recording with the chirper for your file, Victor. So tell me about yourself. What kind of person are you? Mm, well, uh, I'm an upstanding citizen of the Soviet Union and a hardworking member of our society. Uh, I live for science. And I have two passions what that are very important. What is your current important. status, Comrade Major? Love? I'm robots. detecting a loss of focus Am and I a an good intense person? surge of emotion. Yes. My status? Absolutely. I'm losing my fucking shit. That's my goddamn status. I failed my mission again. Victor's dead. And I've got his head in a damn jar. And Sechenov thinks that's all fine and fucking dandy. Get it? No, Comrade Major. I've done a lot of shit in my day, okay? But I've never lugged a human head around as a trophy. Did you see that gigantic robot in the theater? There was a combat robot in the theater charles but you know what really grinds my gears no comrade major the rings the motherfucking rings that asshole petrov gave me and you know why it grinds my gears no comrade major me neither shit whatever it's okay i'm fine i'm fine uh, we're headed to pavlov Got any ideas? Pavlov is a secret complex, located in a remote part of Facility 3826, called Sahalin. It would be quite difficult to get there on foot, given the large number of enemies. I suggest taking a vehicle. And, Comrade Major, this would also be an excellent time to enhance your arsenal as much as possible. Searching for other testing grounds is highly recommended. Enough complaining. Let's move. There, there, Major. Whatever you say. Access granted. Enjoy the show? Thank you. Please come again. Come back soon. We're expecting an amazing new batch of robots for your entertainment. The next show will be even more interesting. Please come back here for a sequel. I see you enjoyed the show so much. Please, to purchase a ticket, please go to the ticket booth. The other end, foyer. Don't forget the snack bar. Please proceed to the bar. Did you leave anything in the coat check room? Please proceed into the restroom. Leave this place! Major P3, I'm waiting for you in the Pavlov complex. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. 
mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No, Falatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? Two rings with better one and better two engraved on the inside? No, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. <laughs> How goes it, Sonny? Still in one piece? Hey, Granny Zena. Long time no see. I've definitely had better days, but yeah. I guess I'm still in one piece. Did I hear right? You finally got that bastard Petrov. Well, nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah, got him. Actually, he kind of got himself before I could get him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this will all be over soon. Then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zena. Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. By the way, uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov? No. I didn't, Granny Zena. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Oh, that's okay. You just watch yourself, Sonny. Stop by if you need anything. Why have you deceived everyone, Comrade Major? The Trump gave you those rings before he died. Everyone else is deceiving me, even Dr. Sechenov, and I never saw it coming. On what basis have you drawn this conclusion? I just thought about what Petrov told me. Would you kindly be more than The sure? enemy has raised its alert level to maximum, Major. Charles, why does everyone want those rings so bad? You mean the beta connectors? Because they work, but are also considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there, not even Collective after the launch. Especially not Collective after the launch. For Collective, anyone connected via the beta connectors will simply not exist. But they'll be able to see Collective. Yes, all of it. A person with a beta connector will not be able to influence Collective from the inside, since they won't exist for Collective. But they will know about everything that happens inside, just like being the officially connected human or robot. I'm waiting for you in the Pavlov complex. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No. Filatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? Two rings with better one and better two engraved on the inside? No, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. How goes it, Sonny? Still in one piece? Hey, Granny Zena. Long time no see. I've definitely had better days, but yeah. I guess I'm still in one piece. Did I hear right? You finally got that bastard Petrov. Well, nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah, I got him. Actually, he kind of got himself before I could get him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this will all be over soon. Then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zena. Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, <clears throat> Sonny. By the way, uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov? No. I didn't, Granny Zena. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Oh, that's okay. You just watch yourself, Sonny. Stop by if you need anything. Why have you deceived everyone, Comrade Major? Petrov gave you those rings before he died. Everyone else is deceiving me. Even Dr. Sechenov, and I never saw it coming. On what basis have you drawn this conclusion? I just thought about what Petrov told me. Would you kindly be more specific? Petrov said combat mode was programmed into the bots during construction. He couldn't possibly have reprogrammed them all himself. It's true, goddammit. And why is that? Because Petrov was a pussy. He was a programmer, not a fighter. But these robots know how to fight. He couldn't have programmed them because he doesn't know the first thing about combat. That Natasha was armed with fucking missiles. Where'd it get him, huh? It's a construction robot. Petrov couldn't have armed it with missile launchers. He's not an engineer. 
He couldn't have hacked into the robot plant and started changing shit around. He fooled the central hub and made it think innocent people were an invading army. That's it. So why would a construction bot have built-in missile launchers, huh? Why would a civilian Dropa have a damn railgun? Or an owl a machine gun? The signs are everywhere. Just like you said. Different perspectives. Unfortunately, after analyzing your logic, I am forced to draw the same conclusion. Especially since your suspicions are more justified than you know. What do you mean? Exactly that. Listen to this recording. What duties are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water? To my profound chagrin, I failed to pay sufficient attention to the phrase, robots can be switched to combat mode. I took it as a colorful expression Molotov used to cast dispersions upon Dr. Sechenov. But it's clear that Molotov was speaking literally. The Politburo knew from the very beginning that Soviet civilian robots had a combat mode. The Atomic Heart Project. Petrov wasn't lying. Sechenov and the Politburo want to conquer the U.S. and the entire world. So what are you going to do now? Think. Charles, why does everyone want those rings so bad? You mean the beta connectors? Because they work, but are also considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there, not even Collective after the launch. Especially not Collective after the launch. For Collective, anyone connected via the beta connectors will simply not exist. But they'll be able to see Collective. Yes, all of it. A person with a beta connector will not be able to influence Collective from the inside since they won't exist for Collective. But they will know about everything that happens inside it, just like any officially connected human or robot. But can't an officially connected human or robot disconnect from Collective if they want to? They can just take their thought device off, right? I believe so, yes. You believe so? So you're not sure? Or is there something you're not telling? I have no data, Comrade Major. But no one can stop a person from removing his or her thought device. It's worn on the head. Not implanted in the skull. That's good, I guess. Petrov, that sick shithead, that fucking truth lover. Screw him. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. He was not a geneticist or a plant breeder, and could not have foreseen all the consequences of the malfunction. Then why the hell did he do it? So many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement in that regard. Fuck Petrov, he's dead. I feel bad for all those people. I stayed in the service after the war to stop this kind of thing from happening again. Now... You have my sincerest condolences for all that has transpired, Comrade Major.
Charles, no one can force somebody into collective, right? Petrov was wrong about that. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? If I'm not a member of collective, how can collective find out about me? It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. The robot identifies you as a human, but you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive mental commands from you in response to its queries. So it realizes I'm not in collective and tells the others about it. Then what? I'll start giving a shit about it? Essentially, yes. But I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Then why is everyone so hot and bothered about the rings? I can't say for sure. Perhaps it's an issue of convenience. Thought devices need to be reconfigured every time they are put on. A ring can be taken off and put back on without inconvenience. There's gotta be more to it than that. Charles, the U.S. is constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right? He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? The American government is using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists want to get more free robots so they can get rid of all the workers once and for all? Quite right. The American government is feeling pressure from both sides. So the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots entirely. They merely set quotas on importing them. So why does the Soviet Union give a shit? Who cares if the Americans sanction us? They're the ones stopping themselves from getting rid of the working class. Well, good. We're all about the workers. The more restrictions they place on the import and use of robots, the fewer of our robots will be located in key parts of the American government when collective launches. So the Soviet government wants there to be as many of our civilian robots in the U.S. as possible when they activate combat mode. That'll make it that much easier to take over the country. I gotta admit, it makes sense. Everything's fine. Take it easy now. The bosses know what they're doing. Demon, I haven't even been here a week yet, and I've already seen enough corpses for a lifetime. I thought this place was going to be a regular clinic. Saharov I had no idea it was like coming. this. <laughs> what? Didn't the fact that this place is a secret complex get you off? You're a little green to be a guard, especially at a hospital. What do you mean, he lives? Listen, we're not butchers like those times. We're not here to kill people. We just make sure no one runs off. It's fine, really. comments. Radical methods, unmitigated interruptions. He is most definitely alive. But one question remains. If he is alive and still working, why would somebody hide it? Eh, sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Right now it's hard to tell who's alive and who isn't. starts approximately 7 to 10 minutes after death, followed by defecation in 3 to 5 minutes. Rigor mortis sets in 5 to 6 hours, then let me see, complete decomposition in about 5 years. What are you doing? I'm counting, counting. 
I'm a scientist. I must spend every time. What's the point? What? Oh, shit. You have a point. So you will help me. Fine. I'll go get. Oh, cut off or cough. You made me lose it. Shouldn't we at least try to help him? There's nothing we can do for him. He sat down by your bed like he was hypnotized, and then he just stayed that way. We're the ones who need help now. My god. But you're right. Those shots were shit. They were supposed to help, but now I've got five people from the same collective farm on my hands. Trust me. Something's... Something is wrong with me. Golden Earth, Tyler, my side. My side is on fire. Hurry, hurry. Call the nurse already. Charles, what is this place? I mean, what is this complex even for? The Pavlov Complex is the origin of all of Facility 3826's biological innovations. Unique experiments are conducted here, involving everything from breeding new species of farm animals to developing new space exploration technology. Outer space? You mean they make moon rovers here, non Chalamet? Space exploration is about more than just vehicles. A spaceship and rovers will, of course, be required. But what